Welcome to the National Gallery in VR 180. You can watch this using a VR headset or a cardboard, but if you don't have either, don't worry. If you're on mobile, you can move your phone around, or if you're on desktop, click around to see more of this incredible space. Enjoy. Hi guys, my name is Tony Adigan. I'm a choreographer from East London, uh, Stratford where we're situated today, and I'm here to talk about a new project that I'm engaging in with the National Gallery. It's a collaboration um, using VR 180 uh, to show dance and to, I suppose, how can we put it, uh, animate the space. Um, I'm here at Studio Wayne McGregor. Um, I was here a year ago uh, engaging in Quest Lab, which was a chance for me to look at technology and also my day-to-day, -day, which is dance, and bring those two aspects together and hopefully fuse them in the work that I'm making uh, in the future. So again, we're here today to work on that, those two pieces and maybe if you follow me, we can have a look at what the dancers are getting on in the studio. Hi and welcome to the studio. We're here at Wayne McGregor. Uh, studio in East London. I'm here with four of the dancers that are engaging with me um, on this project. Um, we're going to start off with uh, Johnny and Godson, please. Could you come down? Welcome. <laughs> Hi. Um, could you do some introduction on yourself and your background and your path into dance? Sure. Maybe? Sure. So, um, yeah, I started dancing when I was four years old. I then stopped and started again when I was seven years old and I've been doing hip-hop since that, those times. Um, I then went on to do uh, more dance training at the Brit School, and after Brit School I went straight into further education at London Contemporary Dance School and got a degree in Contemporary. And since then I've been exploring, continuing to explore different styles into what I do as a choreographer and as a dancer, as a freelance dancer, as a freelance choreographer. Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Theophilos Godson Oloyede. Um, I'm a dancer now and performer for the best part of 19 years. Um, I'm a senior member of Boy Blue. Um, I pioneered this dance style, Crump, um, which I'm now taking into con the contemporary world to choreograph and widen my reach within the movement. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, um, I'm quite excited to be working with these two dancers um, who I know separately um, and to work on this duet. Uh, for the space. So what we're going to do is uh, maybe give you a bit of an insight into the different textures um, and movement qualities that these guys hold. Oh, guys. Thank you. Um, so yeah, a bit of an insight into why I'm excited about working and creating this duet on this guy. Um, the space that we're using is the portico space. Um, when you walk into the space, it's quite, it's quite a grand space, quite a fury, I would say, um, in that aspect. And it has a lot of different textures, um, that of the hard and that of the soft. So for me, as a choreographer, I'm really interested about how we can interplay with that in terms of Frio with his crump style. Um, and then uh, Deji with his uh, hip hop style, but a softer version. So that's quite interesting for me. Um, we also drew inspiration from the mentality, I guess, um, of Anrep being able to bring something more contemporary into a space at the time. And for me, what excites me is working with these contemporary dancers in terms of their styles and bringing that to a space that maybe has never seen it before. Um, so those are the two aspects that we've kind of drawn upon. And, uh, we're excited to take and move forward. Yeah, love it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah, look at the smiles. Look at the smiles. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, thank you. Next up, we'll uh, bring Sam and Sarah down. Sam and Sarah, would you like to join us? Thank you. Could you maybe give a little bit of an insight into your background, path into dance, and so on? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm Sam. Uh, I originate from Croydon. Uh, I then moved to Leeds. I uh, started dance when I was young, just because of my sister. Me and her are super competitive. She started dancing. I was like, okay, gonna have to start dancing now. Beat her at her own game. Started dancing, found out I really liked it. It was a real passion of mine, found it could be a career. So then I went and trained at Northern School of Contemporary Dance. Then went on to Edge, where I met Tony, and we've been working together for a 
few years now, and I've just started to kind of like create my own stuff as well. Amazing. Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. I come from Bordeaux in France. I started dancing at the age of six because I wanted to become a synchronized swimmer. Um, but I only carried on dancing, and at the age of 18, I moved to London, studied at the London Contemporary Dance School. The year later, joined Edge, met Tony, Sam, we worked together, and since then, we met on different occasions, um, and here we are. And here we are indeed. Um, so again, it's exciting for me to be working with dancers that I worked with previously before, to have a good rapport with each other, and also a good rapport with myself, to help in the studio. Um, the painting for us uh, dealt with a lot of different aspects, one of them which we won't touch upon right now, um, but we will display in this short uh, setting. Here we go, guys. Nice, nice, thank you guys. So that was just a small, small insight, shall we say, into the longer duet. Um, one of the main aspects, well, I'll let you elaborate maybe in terms of the, the characters and the amount of people that we, uh, we saw in the mm. painting. Yeah, so there was a load of, there's a load of different people in the painting um, with loads of different kind of like, you can see the loads of different expressions on their faces, loads of different thought processes going through it, kind of like, should I be watching this? Shouldn't I? Kind of like judging themselves whilst doing it. There was like a little girl in it who can't watch at all. There's a girl who's kind of like wanting to watch, but you can see that she kind of feels bad about it. There's a guy who's like breaking the fourth wall. He's looking directly out of the painting at you, almost judging you for looking at the painting. We were kind of like playing with these kind of different gazes, different looks, and like how we can interpret that and pop that into the movement. And it's uh, the piece itself. Definitely, and that was really exciting for us as well, just to kind of take inspiration from the painting, trying to put uh, the phrases into our literal movement, but also trying to get abstract, as abstract um, inspiration from the painting as well. Um, one of the main aspects which you touched upon, which was the different types of gazes are in, mm -hmm. in that painting, but also there was a combination of the project itself being a VR 180 and how important, you know, gaze is. Um, and how you find that as well, you Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting mm -hmm. how um, the painting itself, the way they were related, it goes with our relationship to you watching because he, he breaks this fourth wall that you can have with uh, a dance piece on stage. You are in the same room as us and we have to establish a relationship with you that it's really straightforward. We engage with you. So, um, he was like working with you and not just uh, with each other mm -hmm. in, in the duet. Uh, so he's very different to a dance film as well, that the camera can follow you and catch your gaze as you're moving, but this time it's us to have to catch your, your gaze. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, again, that was one of the main, main uh, focal points for us, is just how we change our mindset from working on a normal stage to now working specifically for this medium. Um, we hope we've enjoyed that little insight, guys, to our uh, story. Um, this has been us. Uh, you guys have been you. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.